So guys, as a sequel to yesterday's OBS tutorial video, I'm going to be walking you through my Sony Vegas render settings, so dropping a clip recorder with OBS into Sony Vegas Pro 12 here. If, you do, if you're using a different version, don't stress, all the settings will be exactly the same. Uh, so Paladins, a free game looking gorgeous here with the multiple audio tracks recorded with OBS. What we want to do first is right click on the video track, go up to switches, disable the resample, that is basically blended frames and it's going to look disgusting on YouTube and just any video you render is going to look terrible if you don't do that, so make sure you do that. I cannot stress that enough. It's going to be like bad motion blur, you don't want it and unfortunately there's not a way to permanently do that. A lot of people get bogged down in like disabling the maintain aspect ratio as well, but you only have to worry about that if you're adding in videos into the project that are 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 in different aspect ratios basically. If you do that, if you untick that, all of them will be stretched to 16 by 9 so you don't have to worry about that aspect ratio issue. But don't worry about that. We want to head up now into the video project properties and you want to be changing your settings to match these of my templates. So the idea behind these render settings is to upscale 1080p to 1440p in order to trick YouTube into not compressing your video so much. So if we jump over to Google Chrome here, I've got the the YouTube page up which shows the compression in which you upload to YouTube and how much it compresses, to, compresses when you upload. So for 1080p at 60fps you can see it's 12 megabytes per second which is half of what the, the bitrate is we're going to be rendering in today. So for 1440p it is 24 megabytes per second which is perfect for 1080p. So as you can see like the YouTube compression is absolutely terrible and it's going to be ruining your quality and it has been for so many years for my quality, my 1080p 60fps quality. Rendering and compressing at 12 megabytes per second just ruins it and basically we're going to be tricking the system into thinking by changing a couple of numbers in the video details It's still going to be 1080p 60fps, but it's going to be compressing at 24 megabytes per second Which is going to give you lossless quality coming out of these render settings So you want to be basically changing your project pro properties to match these so width height 1440p as you can see there, leave these at default frame rate, make sure you change that to 60, that's what we recorded in yesterday, and if you don't change it to 60, and it's like 59, you're going to have different frame issues, and it's just going to be like the disabled resample like we had before, with different frame overlapping, you don't want it, make sure you change it to 60 so it's all aligned, frame rate is a big issue when rendering, and you just want to make sure they're all the same, so this is also default, pixel format, 8-bit, that's also the default, full resolution rendering quality, change it to best, Gaussian, blend fields, that is all good. Make sure you select start all new projects with these settings. So you have to do this every single time you add into Sony Vegas. So for audio here, sample rate, you want to change that to 192, bit depth to 24, and resample and stretch quality to best. Apply those settings, start all new project with these settings. You can make a template, save it, and you're all good to go. So just a quick tip before we move forward, I've just cut the video up into a few little slices here. And if you want to if you want to disable the resample on all of them, you can left click on one, hold shift, left click on the last video track right click, go up to switches and do what we did before, disable the resample and if all of these, as you can see the disable resample will be there. You have to do that with all of your video, all of it, even your outro video, all of it. Don't worry about like pictures or text or audio, just your video, do it and you'll be all good to go. So moving on as swiftly as we can here uh, into a project that I've done in the past. This was my YouTube thoughts video which I'll have up on my channel. It was rendered with these settings and it's the example of the quality which you guys can achieve with the render settings. So I'll leave it down in the description below and I'll have it linked at the end of the video like I did in the OBS tutorial video. So if you have checked it out, you don't have to worry about it. This video will also be rendered at the same settings, but it's not obviously gameplay uh, like this one was. So if we chuck this on real quick, um, oh, this is actually me killing myself, but trust me, the video does get better and go uphill slightly from here. So we want to render this out. So we want to select all this, head up to render as up here, and you want to be basically going into, so, if we, so we're going to be using the main concept. So if we untick this, and we go into main concept there's going to be so many different options here all these different ones but go to main concept and click on internet hd 1080p customize the template i'm going to jump onto my template so you guys can see the settings customize template and this is what we're going to be working with so you're going to get something different to this but you want to select custom frame size down here you're going to be at 1080p custom frame size change the width and height to 1440p like we did in the project files and then frame rate, type in 60, change profile to high, it's going to give you the best quality, untick, adjust frame size and adjust frame rate and also progressive download, make sure they're all unticked and these are the default settings. In terms of bit rate, we want to make sure we have a variable bit rate. Uh, if it's below like a five minute video, you could click two pass, it's going to render your video once and then go through it a second time to make sure you have the highest quality and it's going to be awesome. 
Uh, but in order to keep the renders shorter, I untick it because a lot of my videos are around 10 minutes or higher, and uh, it's going to make your, your renders huge if you're not if you're ticking two pass. But for lower videos like little skits or whatever you're uploading, if it's lower than five minutes, I would recommend doing two pass. You're going to get awesome quality. It might not be a massive difference, but it's definitely recommended. So for maximum, we want to select 50 megabytes per second. It's going to be an option down here. Select that, and that is going to be what we recorded in OBS. So, that, so if you're following the settings from yesterday's video, 50 megabytes per second is what we were recording in, and it's going to be our maximum bitrate. So for our average, and on YouTube, as you guys can see here, 24 megabytes per second, our average is also known as the target bitrate. So 24 megabytes per second is this. You're going to have to type it in. It's not an option in here, unfortunately. So type it in. And basically, with the idea of variable bitrate is when the average can't be achieved, it's going to it can go all the way up to the maximum. And then at the end, you're going to get given a bitrate, which is going to be the average of what it was rendered at. So it's going to be between 24 and 50. It's going to be around 30. And then that's going to be compressed down to 24 when uploading to YouTube. And going from 30 to 24 is nothing. It's going to be lossless quality. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, but just for those, those moments in your video when you're like you're swinging around on ropes in Uncharted or whatever you're doing in Black Ops 3 and uh, you're doing a lot of stuff on video, it's really demanding. The, uh, the compression can go in your render can go all the way out to 50, which is going to be lossless quality, what you recorded at, and then it can come back down to the target average bitrate. It's going to be great. It's going to give you the best results, and it's so, so fantastic. If we head back into Google Chrome, you can see that 1080p is 12 megabytes per second, and from going from rendering a video out in 1080p 60fps at about 25 megabytes per second and having it compressed down to 1080p, it's less than half, and it ruins your quality, but going from 30 to 24, it's going to make virtually no difference. You can have lossless quality quality it's going to be fantastic in code mode you've got a few different options here if you're using amd it's going to be different for cuda you can go to system check gpu cuda is basically rendering the video out with your graphics card and it's going to be a little bit faster and it's going to be awesome so head over to audio we want to make sure 44 100 is the same as our obs 320,000 again save as obs lining those up there if we go back into the the youtube formatting here we can see that 384 kilobytes per second is the stereo bit rate so that's not going to be encoded at all or compressed i should say uh, so you're going to have lossless audio quality. So the same as in your in your video project. It's going to be great. In system, there's nothing here. I'm not sure why that even exists. Project, we want to make sure video rendering quality is set to best. That is going to be awesome. We're lining that up again with our project property. So click OK. You can save that as a favorite there. I'm not sure what we changed in that. I don't think we changed anything whatsoever, but just because if we're editing and changing around, it has made a different type. But you can name your project. So we can name it, browse, and choose the file which you want to go in. So I can go into Black Ops 3 here. Uh, yeah, this looks like a good folder and then we can basically render out. I've already rendered it So we don't have to do that again We can cancel that and I can open up where we rendered it to and this is going to give you the video So I'm going to mute the sound here But those are the render settings my friends you're going to if we right click on this and go to properties over to details We can see it's 1440p 30,000 which is our kilobytes per second Which is the basically the bit rate which we rendered at so that's going to be taken down to 24 when uploading 44 hertz and uh, 320 kilobytes per second for our bit rate with our audio. So it's going to be perfect. Head over, upload that. Now, once you upload your video, it'll take a while to process in 1440p, but just make sure when you do upload it, make sure you ask your audience to watch in 1440p. It's going to give you the best quality and it's going to be so, so nice. Finally, the control is back in our hands in terms of uploading and not having YouTube ruining our content, our quality with their terrible compression. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any further comments or questions about any of the settings that I chose in the comments. I had this same feeling when I finished the OBS video that I had missed something, but let me know down in the comments below if I'd missed something or if you have any further questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them or do a follow-up video if need be. But thank you all so much for watching. Again, the example video, which is you guys are watching on screen now, will be down in the description below. So head over there, watch the video, see the quality for yourself, and I hope you guys do enjoy. But best of luck using the render settings and I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. This is me.